Question 13 is um, a data handling problem. Uh, the first question, state whether the weight of eggs is continuous or discrete variable. Um, that's a state that question. Um, I'm not going to tell you the answer to this, but what I will do is say continuous data is data that is usually measured and discrete data is data that is usually counted. So um, if we were to say how long do you is your journey to school we would normally measure that using a clock and so that will be continuous if we were saying to you how many students are in your class we would count students rather than measure them and therefore that information would be discrete that's a pretty good guideline it's not the, the scientific definition but it's a pretty good guideline if you have to measure it it's continuous if you count it it's probably discrete have a look at those that data it's weight do you measure weight or do you count weight Right, uh, question B, um, it says modal grade of the eggs. Um, quite a few of you, I don't think there's any problem knowing what the mode was, but some of you wrote the modal weight, it's modal grade. Okay, uh, part C, it's on your GDC, so check your setup. You've got a uh, frequency table here. Um, you don't have the exact values of the weight, so you should be using the midpoints. The best estimate of those values, you don't know these three eggs here, you don't know what their weights were, you know they were between 40 and 50. The safest guess is 45 because it's in the middle. That's the one with the least chance of being a long way out. It's the, the most reliable guess. So use the midpoints, 45, 55, 65 and so on. So use the midpoint for each interval um, and then use your GDC to come up with your summary statistics and you're looking for sigma x the greek letter sigma um, it's there's two standard deviation figures you're always going to use the smaller one you're always going to use the smaller one on this course um, whether you should or not is an argument beyond the scope of this course but for the sake of this course always use the smaller value okay um, question d uh, is quite a tricky one conceptually you know that the mean is 64.9 grams. It says how many of these, the smallest number that could be within one standard deviation of the mean. So you need to work out what 64.9 minus sigma is, and you've just worked that out in C, and 64.9 plus sigma. And that's what gives you the interval that you're looking to find your values in. Okay, so you want your weight in that range. Now, this isn't the answer, but let's say 64.9 minus sigma came out to be 48.3. That means they have to be at least 48.3. Well, these three eggs could be in that interval, but it says the smallest possible number, so the smallest possible number is zero. They could all be less than 48.3, and none of them more than between 48.3 and 50. These obviously could be. Um, these ones, well, you'll have to work out the upper bound to see whether these ones are as well. If they have to be at least 48.3, all of these are going to be in. These ones, because the 48.3 is in this interval, they could all be less than that, so you can ignore them. It's a tricky question, that. Have a go at it. The answer is relatively straightforward. It's obviously a whole number, but conceptually, it's a little bit of a tricky question.